Hi YouTube, welcome to Pagan Perspective. I'm Megan, aka Sabiristry. Today is Friday and we are talking about our day of the week. Hi YouTube, so welcome to the Pagan Perspective. I am Megan, aka Spiritry, and this week you've been hearing all about our days of the week and talking about how does that influence us, if it does at all. And one of the things that Carl also wrote was, if you'd switch days, what does that mean, and things like that. So I thought that uh, I would give my Friday perspective, Friday Pagan perspective. So first is the word Friday. And Friday actually comes down the line. There's a whole lot that Friday comes from. And just like the other ones that have a lot to do with Greek gods and goddesses slash Roman gods and goddesses, so too does Friday. So Friday was typically associated with Aphrodite or Venus. And so actually in Greek, Friday's name was, and I'm going to probably butcher the pronunciation of this, uh, Hermera Aphrodites, which is Day of Aphrodite. And in French, it's uh, Vendredi, and in Italian, it's Venerdi, which are all meaning Venus Day, basically. So then we switch it over, and we're like, all right, well, that's sort of the V. We know we got our Venus from that. Where did the FRI come from? So we knew it had to be something associated with love and beauty and all of that because that's what Aphrodite and Venus are all about. So how do we get the fry? So I looked up more names. The next name I looked up was actually German. So in German, and again, I'm totally going to butcher this name, um, Freitag or Freitag, and that means... Frigg's day. So, Frigg is a German goddess. Now, point of fact, Frigg is oftentimes misconstrued with Freya. So Frigg is a different goddess than Freya. Frigg is actually Odin's wife, if you know Odin. Frigg is the goddess of the clouds, sky, married love, wife of Odin, all sorts of things, just like Venus and Aphrodite. Freya is a Valkyrie leader. She's all about love, beauty, and sex, things like that. So they, they represent very similar things, which is why oftentimes they can get confused, except that Frigg is the wife of Odin, whereas Freya is the leader of the Valkyries. A little different. So you've got this sort of idea on Fridays that Friday is sort of your lovemaking day. And in a way, it's interesting because we kind of have this love affair with Fridays, at least in sort of westernized modern world. You know, our Monday through Friday work schedule and we have our weekend. Well, we have even a phrase. We call it TGIF, you know, thank God it's Friday, right? So that idea of Friday is the best day in a way of the work week because it's like, yeah, now it's the weekend. Now I get to party and... Now I get to go crazy and go have sex or whatever it might be. So the idea, though, is, is that it is a loved day and that's a happy day. It's a celebratory day. So that's something that I really like. I think one of the things that really appealed to me about the day when I decided to switch was that I have it off. I mean, that's really, for me, <laughs> the most important thing. It's a lot easier for me to do a video when I have a day off. And... It made no sense to be doing a video on days of the week that I have to work if I have a day off. So I switched over to Friday. Now, I was, though, on Wednesday. And I thought it was really interesting when I started Look Up Wednesday. Now, I don't do anything with days of the week. Just not my thing. I, you know, I practice a hereditary form of witchcraft, paganism, and the reality is, is that it has to fit into my life. I mean, that's, that's the reality. And it's not something in which I really focus on the days of the week. You know, if I'm lucky enough to be able to get a ritual in, squeeze one in, then woohoo, I have succeeded. 
you know, I, I don't have the time to be picking the days right now. It's just too much. So when I was looking at all of this, I thought, how amazing was it, the switch that had happened? Because I was on Wednesdays. In Japanese, the day Wednesday is actually, I'm going to butcher this name, Suyobi, Suyobi. I'm probably pronouncing that way wrong. But what it translates to is water day. Oh my God, water day. So if you guys know me, for, for those that do know me and, uh, and have been watching or watch my personal channel, I am highly connected to water. It's like my element. I work with water elementals more than anything else. I spend a lot of time on water plane. I am so connected to the element of water, I can't even tell you. <laughs> so it was so interesting to me that I was on Wednesday. And then a shift happened. So after meeting my fiance and, you know, now planning a wedding and all of this, and I switched to Fridays and I switched to the love day. And I thought that that was so amazing that that natural progression happened and I love it. And also Friday's symbol is the female symbol. And as you know, as a gay woman to have a female symbol is really powerful and really awesome. So I was really, really excited when I saw this and started looking up this topic and, and seeing everything. I thought it was really cool. Um, just so you know, in Japanese, Friday is actually another kind of thing that worked out, is actually Metal Day. So, uh, Kenobi, I, I think of Obi-Wan Kenobi, so, and I'm butchering the name, so I can't do that. But, it is translated to Metal Day. And I thought that was really interesting that uh, she and I both got rings. And this is actually Platonium. So it's a really special kind of metal. It is, um, it's very special to me. And so I thought that that was so cool that it was metal day and it was all about love. And it was when I switched over to the day that all this happened. And then the day that I was before it was water day, which again is so much to who I am. And I, I just, I love that. So I thought it was also really interesting to note, it's not just in the European type language and the Romance languages, the Latin based, it's also actually in Hindu, in Indian. So um, Friday is actually called, oh, I'm gonna butcher this name again, Shukravar, Shuk Shukravar? I'm not sure, but uh, Shukra is the planet Venus. So in, even in India, you have this pull toward Venus being on Friday. And I really love that. I love that you're seeing these connections with certain days of the week. You're seeing it through all sorts of different cultures and different languages. And that shows the connection that the day really has. And that fifth day, and or I guess sixth day, depending on if you start on a Monday or a Sunday. But it's, I think it's really amazing. And I thought the topic was really exciting to learn about. And yeah, so that is it for today, guys. I did want to put a little bit of a shout out. So I was at the Magical Marketplace this past weekend. And I got to do a interview with my cousin, Kellyanna. Uh, if you guys don't know her, she is an amazing uh, pagan uh, folk artist. She's a singer, songwriter, drummer, chanter she's guitar player she's just amazing and she wrote a book which is so awesome to me uh and my favorite song of hers is warrior queen and she wrote a book based on it so go to my personal channel i'll put the link in the down bar below to see that interview her and i talking and getting all you know silly and stuff and yeah and all of the links will be in that that video if you want to get her book or if you want to you know, just even click on iTunes or something like that and just hear a snippet of her song. I did play part of the song at the beginning and the end of the video. So if you want to hear a little bit about it to see if you even like it. 
And I wanted to give a shout out as well. I actually went into a store the other day to get some things and a viewer of The Pagan Perspective and I, my channel, I guess, Faith, I ran into her and it was just so wonderful. And I, I can't tell you, you know, the viewers are what makes this and, you know, the interactions with everybody in the comments and being able to meet you guys in person is just so awesome. And it's why we do this. You know, this is volunteering of our time. You know, we don't get anything for this except just feeling like we are being part of a community. And that's really what I hope to do through the Pagan Perspective and through my own channel is to really just build that community up. So, hi Faith, thank you so much for being a fan. And yeah, so guys, until next week, as always, blessed be.